Hello all, welcome back to another YouTube video. Sorry guys, I know it's been a while since I last made my video. It's just been, I've been caught up in a lot of things. But yeah, finally had a chance now to get back onto this and hopefully will not slack anymore. But yeah, so as you can probably tell now by the title, we are, well, I'm trying to do a review of the BM135i. Done 6,000 miles, what I said in the title, in about three four months four months that's quite a lot of course it's safe to say that this car is definitely not a garage grid it's something that has been used on a daily basis i've been going to work back and forth in in this car i've been going on these long random spontaneous drives that i've filmed a few of you may have seen that and yeah it's it's just been a car for the family as well to be honest so it's pretty much covered all of our needs and it's exceeded all expectations in honesty so yeah i want to begin with the looks of the car so let's start from the front now the front i've always been a bit too minded about i've not really been the biggest fan the grill still not too sure about it but it is something that still even though it's not probably the, not the best looking and i do agree with those who do say that it is quite a menacing front end. I mean, if this car is in your rear view mirror and you do want to get out of the way, it is quite daunting in that manner, let's say. The side profile, I love the side profile on it. It is, I love the lines on it. It is really nice, it's straight lines. It looks really, really smart. I know it sounds weird saying straight lines, but the way they've done it, it does look really, really smart. And the, the wheels that it's got on it as well, it makes all the difference. It's got the 19 inch on this. It it makes it look a lot more sportier, let's say. It looks more meaner, let's say, meaner. We'll go ahead with that. But yeah, those rims really have made a difference to the overall look of the car. And I am a big fan of it. Luckily, it did come with this. And yeah, really, really grateful of those wheels. And it does look really special. However, the back end, that's the main main bit of this car i love the back end on this car it's absolutely stunning they've got it so right i mean the exhaust the lights the rear diffuser it is absolutely on point and that's what for me it just gets the whole car right yeah i managed to overlook the front of it when i look at the back i'm like oh yeah fine wonderful i do like the the rear spoiler as well again it just adds to the whole hench little pit bull look of the rear of the car it just looks really really squatted that rear spoiler helps with that again it helps with the lines helps with the side profile of the car overall the car is a stunner it does catch a lot of attention of course the color itself is working its magic um in assisting to get those looks of course it's a very very brave color a very bright color yeah the back end of this car really does it for me and when i used to see this before i i mean before even i had one i never really liked this car you know but whenever when i saw the back end i was like okay yeah that's what really changed my mind and of course when the deal came through of this it was a no-brainer but to get it um but yeah overall a good looking car the back end obviously does it though it takes it so it takes all the boxes and it does push it over the edge and makes it something that you do want to get on. So yeah, let's discuss more about actually living with this car. As I said, we've done six and a half thousand miles in this car within four or five months. It is very, very well used. And I mean, of course, as you can see in the drone shots that I have done, yes, I got a drone, hopefully. That those are coming through nice i hope hope you're enjoying that but yeah so as you can see in those drone shots it's absolutely filthy do you apologize for that it's absolutely filthy i mean this like i said this car gets used on a daily basis i'm using it to go work and back and it does the job so effortlessly it is all around a wonderful car now to be more in detail yes i do have a family of my own and yes we do go out in this car as a family so yes it is very practical it's spacious as well it is accommodating 
there are five of us so yes five people can sit in this car reasonably comfortably of course on longer journeys maybe it might get a little bit uncomfortable but yes it can accommodate five people rather reasonably let's say a surprising thing that you guys may be a bit bored but um, I had a 3 series 320i uh, the brand new shape before this so it, that, was a, that was on a 70 plate I think it was yeah 70 plate so 320i M Sport I had we used to go on that as a, out as a family now rather strangely we used to find that quite cramped in the back but whereas in this it's not the same now I don't it's, it's so strange how I'm, how I'm saying this of course that's a 3 series it's, technically is a bigger car this is a one series and we're saying what well, I'm saying and this is bigger and it is though honestly it is of course like I said three of us will sit on the in the back and we have found this car to be more accommodating than the three series don't know why I think the only reasonable explanation I can put forwards toward this, towards this is that it's a flat bench rather than in the freezer I think they're actual seats now because this is more flat you've got more space you've got more space to move around you can sit more towards the edges I think so it gives you that gives you that more room in essence now also another thing that I noticed I mean yes I have sat in the back in this car my dad has drove this and I, when I'm in the back in this what I've noticed I'm very car sick I don't like sitting in the back I'm always the one that's always driving on these long journeys or anywhere we go it's always me who drives so whenever I do sit in the back I don't like it I find it very claustrophobic regardless of what car it is and I feel like I said very car sick when traveling now that was a big issue when we had the 3 series because I did sit in the back in that a few times and I did feel that now with this car I didn't well I did but not as much again now I think the explanation behind that is that the bench itself the rear seats are higher and these front seats are more narrow so what I'm trying to say is that when you're sat in the back you've got more visibility of the front and because you sat a bit higher up you feel you don't feel like you've been literally thrown in the back or you don't feel claustrophobic it's quite an airy cabin to be honest and for me who is bit of a drama queen um, in regards to sitting in the back I'm always causing issues in this it isn't so bad I mean when I went to when we went to um, John O'Groats sorry we went to John O'Groats I was sat in the back um, when my my father and my cousin were driving I was sat in the back of this and I was trying to, I was trying to catch up in my sleep and I was able to do that I was, I was surprised to be honest I thought I would be I wouldn't be able to do it I feel feeling very sick and all that but yeah that wasn't the case so yeah in that sense it was brilliant I was able to do that and yeah I mean if, if it can if it can reasonably manage accommodate five people it's, it's doing a good job and of course if it's in my in our experience anyway if it's doing it better than the free series that I had previously and it's even better isn't it so yes We've talked about how the car accommodates and yes it is very accommodating to summarize now like of course like because we are discussing this car in its whole and of course because we're trying to review this um, I've had this for like I said a few months now living costs is a big problem that I'm sure people would want to hear about yes I have done an efficient video on this previously but I've had a car a few months now, I've got more of an idea of what it is all about. Now, when you put a full tank in this car, it costs you about 65, 60, yeah, 60 to 65 pounds you're looking at to fill this car up. Normally, when I filled my previous cars up, when I put 60 to 65 pounds in, I used to get the fuel range of in excess of 350 400 miles that was rather comforting and i thought okay yes it's a big spend putting 60 pound in one go losing 60 pound in one go fine but 
I've got 400 miles range to play with now. Happy days. You can carry on. With this though, you put in 60 pounds, 65 pound full tank, and it's a bit depressing when you see that fuel range. It only tells you that you can do about 200 miles, 220 miles, and it does hurt. It does hurt. And trust me, it does go that quick as well. Um, I'm looking in average, let's say, of course, like I say, I've I drive with this car every day. Not, no, it's not every day. Surprisingly, I push it all all the time. It's not the occasion. Um, sorry, it's not the case. Um, but I do accelerate hard in this car all the time. But yeah, as an average, I do get between 200 to 240 miles. Again, depending on how I drive this car. But yeah, 200 240 is heavy um, if you're putting in that much fuel. But of course, you, what you need to bear in mind is that you are driving a two liter turbocharged engine. So when you do put your foot down like this, your fuel range does go down rather quickly. So yeah, so just an example, I was on 98 miles range then, and I went down to 96. So just a bit of an indication. Sorry about that guys, for some reason, my phone had heated up really bad, I think because of course I've got my phone in the windscreen and it is a very warm day today. I didn't have my AC on so you guys could hear me, but yeah, that resulted in my phone getting a bit too warm, just a bit worrying. But yeah, so I had to just pull over into the local petrol station, cooled my phone down, never thought I would say that, ouch, never thought I would say that, but yeah, I had to cool my phone down and yeah. Let's carry on the video. So what were we talking about? We were discussing the fact, oh yes, of the miles per gallon. Um, like I said, you're looking about 220, 240 miles per gallon. It's, of course it's not ideal, but like I said, you, got, uh, you have to bear in mind what kind of car it is. It's not a typical diesel. It's not a small engine, fuel efficient diesel car that you're expecting to get. Wonders out of it, it is known to be a little hot hatch so of course fuel is not going to be great but yeah something to bear in mind though of course if you're looking to get a car like this i'm having to fill up rather frequently but it's something that you do have to unfortunately take on the chin oh god yeah but it's unfortunately something that you do have to take on the chin um when if you want to decide to purchase a car like this pretty much but yeah so moving on to the most important Part of it, with the part where we're willing to overlook the fuel, overlook the front end of the car, overlook all of its little minor little issues with it, or whatever it may be. This overlooks it all, the power of it. Just like that, we hit triple figures from, yeah. This car is very, very nippy. Honestly, it, it just gets on with it. There, is not, there isn't much drama. Of course, the sound of this car isn't great. Actually, we'll get onto that. Um, but it just, there's no drama. It just gets on. You put your foot down on this car, the car's job is just to go fast and it does it very, very well. Like I said, we got we got we got to some high speeds very quickly. Then it's just relentless. This car, there is no lag. That's what I really like about it. Not to slag off any other cars. I've driven other hot hatches. I'm not going to go into more detail, but I have driven other hot hatches, and there is a delay. There is a delay when you do press the accelerator. Don't like it at all. Don't like it. It's not every day that you can be in sport. You just want to be able to be in any mode. Put your foot down and the car goes. That's what you expect from a little hot touch. In the others, it doesn't do it. Well, it doesn't do it like this. The others that I have driven, it's a bit laggy. It takes a bit of time for the turbos to kick in and then it will go. Of course, it will shift eventually, but there is that bit of a delay and I don't really like it. Of course, when I had the chance of driving this, this was a no-brainer, I had to go for one. And yeah, the main reason for it is the gearbox, the way it just picks up and it just 
absolutely just barges on. I do love the power in this car and like I said, because of the power of it, you are willing to overlook all of its little insecurities. That's, that's it really, the power does it. Another thing I wanted to, to uh, discuss or make you guys aware or share my thoughts on is the handling and the stability of the vehicle. The handling, of course, it is an X drive, so the handling is, of course, going to be very, very good. I've driven this car in in the wet. That's what we get mostly in the UK. So, yeah, I have driven this car in the wet, and, of course, I have tested it. And it is it does perform really, very really well. It's very planted, very secure. You don't feel like you're going to lose your life if you're going to plant your right foot in the wet which is nice. Sometimes obviously you gotta be careful, don't advise that. But within this car, you do get that sense of security um, when you're driving in the rain. Of course, I've not had this car yet when it's snowing, but I'm sure it will be the same scenario that it is getting through, plodding along, and it doesn't really get you stuck in any sticky situations. So the handling is very, very good. Stability of the car is something that I wanted to touch upon as well. Now, it's hard to describe this, but I've had, of course, many cars before this. I've got quite a few cars now. Me and my dad share quite a few. I think we've got about seven cars now. Um, but yeah, the stability of this car is fantastic. My dad did say to me, once you get a BMW, you won't look at any other car. And I can see exactly where it's coming from. The This car is super planted. Like, you don't feel insecure is it feels super super secure to the road it's never gonna no matter what speed you're doing no matter what bend you're gonna go and take it feels like it's just gonna carry on like a train and just pull through i really really do like that aspect i mean the biggest biggest example i can probably give or the best example i can give is when we went to scotland now of course we were in the highlands tremendously windy up there absolutely terrible weather conditions um, when we were coming back actually it was really bad we didn't film that but the weather conditions on the way back were absolutely horrendous it was the rain was relentless and it was windy horrible horrible conditions in any of the car you would have felt the wind you would have felt the car slipping you would have felt the car aquaplaning of course every car aquaplaning I'm not saying that but in this you didn't feel the wind in this car even though it was really, really windy that day, this was secure, planted. It wasn't budging from its lane. It was nice and solid and just willing to carry on and push through that horrible terrain. And I think that experience, of course, we didn't enjoy it at that point. But now when you think about, when you think back on it, because we were in this car, we were able to carry on as normal. We didn't have to think twice. We didn't have to slow down really. We didn't have to go in the slower lane. We were able just to carry on our, on our normal at our normal speed without thinking twice, and that that was brilliant. And this is where this car really came in its place. Really, the suspension, maybe of course I'm not too technical, but I'm thinking that's where the suspension comes in. Really, really good ride overall, and very planted. And that's what I really like about the BMWs, of course. Me saying that this is not the only one BMW I have. All the other cars that we have are Mercedes. So very contradictive what I'm saying here, but the Mercedes on the other hand is of course a cruiser. It's like more of a Grand Tourer. It's very smooth, it's a bit wallowy uh, in the corners. So complete opposites really, but for what this car is, for what you want a little hot hatch to be, it ticks all the boxes and it does a very, very good job of it as well in that right. Price wise now, Yes, these car, these cars. I think they're about thirty-six. No, this one was forty. Um, but yeah, they're, they're around the high thirties, low forties. These car, uh, these cars. Sorry. So of course, this one was a bit higher spec. So this car was around the forty mark. Um, now though, I've been looking. You can get some absolutely immense deals on these cars. Um, of course, they are lease deals. I'm not seeing what the PCPs are like, but the lease deals on these are very very tempting so if you have been watching my videos and you are tempted to go for such a car there are very good deals now that make it affordable 
for the layman like me to go out and get a car like this. I mean, an ex I'll give you an example of a deal that I saw. It, of course, the module isn't great, but it's something that can be, um, you know, increased. But um, I think it was 7,000 miles and it was on a three year contract. The down payment was about £3,000. You're looking about 350 quid a month. Bargain. In my eyes, absolute bargain. What you gotta understand is what car you're getting for that money. There are a whole other, other cars that you can get, but in my eyes, I would go for this. It's practical, it's fast, like we've discussed already quite a lot. It handles impeccable. Stability is fantastic. What else do you want from a car? Of course, what you would want is petrol, good fuel, good miles per gallon. Yes, you are gonna take a bit of hit on that. If you are willing to go past that though, no brainer. Lease deals are very, very cheap on this right now. Very good. You can you can snap one of these, like I said, up for 350 quid a month. You can get an M135i. I wouldn't think twice personally. But yeah, for that kind of money, you need to you need to register what kind of car you're getting and you are getting a little pocket rocket for that. So yeah guys, all in all, this M135i has exceeded all expectations. I of course had done my research on this car before I was getting it. I had managed to have a drive of it beforehand. Like I said, I like the power of it, so I just went for it. It was instantaneous really. After that, I just went and got one. Um, but all in all, the car has been fantastic. It's done everything that I wanted it to do. It literally has ticked every box so far. And when you want the power, you've got the power. Like now, I've been cruising, as you can tell. There haven't been any vicious kickdowns. I've been driving through town centers, normal roads, no country roads today. And you can, you can enjoy this car in its normal comfort mode. Of course, when you are feeling a bit brave, when you are wanting to give this car a bit of a blast, the car will do that as well for you. So like I said, it is a great all-rounder and it does tick all of the boxes that I wanted this car to fulfill. It does it and it does it very, very well. So yeah, that's my review of this car. Like I said, I've had it quite a long time now and it has been flawless. And would I recommend it? Absolutely. I would absolutely recommend a BMW M135i xDrive. Great car. Go for it. Get it. Get one of those lease deals. If you're quick enough, it's fantastic. Honestly, in my head, it's a no-brainer. So yeah, guys, I'd like to thank you very much for watching the video. If you have lasted that long, it's been an absolute pleasure driving this car, owning this car. Hopefully we can do many more miles on it and get more videos out of this car. Let's see what the future holds for this. Maybe I might swap it and get something else. Maybe, may have dropped a little hint there. I don't know. Everything is up for discretion at this moment in time. But yeah, all in all, this car right now has been fantastic. So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you for watching this particular video. Any questions you wanna ask me in regards to it, I'm very approachable. Drop me a comment, drop me a email more than happy to answer any concerns or any issues or any questions that you may want to have if you're thinking about getting this car off something i've not covered maybe get in contact more than happy to cover it why not we're all in this together but yeah drop me a message if you wish to but yeah thank you very much for watching this video see you all on another video hopefully the next video it won't be such a long wait like last time do apologize for that i'm on it now no more slacking. Videos every week, back to normal. No slacking. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend. Wow. Did you feel that speed? Did you hear the noise? It was good. Really, really good. Takes up speed really, really well there. Fantastic, as always. Okay, so yeah, finally. Guys, take care. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful, yeah. wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.